Now I'm going to deal with a few some kings in the Bible that some kings kings of Judah that that have dealt with sodomites. And by the way, when they deal with them, they don't they're not being nice to them when they deal with them. I'm going to give you three of them. There's Asa, Jehoshaphat, and uh, Josiah. Here's the first one, Asa. This is First Kings 15. First Kings 15, uh, verse number 11 and 12. And Asa did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord, as did David his father. Now, before I read the next verse, I just want you to get that. Did that which was right in the sight of the eye of the Lord. God was pleased with what he was doing. And this is what he did. Here's something he, some stuff he did. Verse 12. And he took away the Sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. And also Micah, Micah, his mother, even her, he removed from being queen because she had made an idol in a grove. And Asa destroyed her idol and burned it in the brook Kidron. Whoa. But I want to emphasize the Sodomites. And I want to talk about how great the Sodomites were. And how there was nothing wrong with it. It was alright. God has no problem with it. And Jesus was gay too and all the rest. And all the other ridiculous reprobate type junk that they say. But yet right here, it says Asa took away the Sodomites out of the land. And it said before that that he did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. So God had no problem with it. You don't see God destroying Asa for it. How dare you take away the Sodomites? There's nothing wrong with them. They're just born that way. Doesn't say that in the Bible. He took them out, and God had no problem with it. In fact, it'd be nice if it'd be really nice if worth if he'd killed them. Back then, uh, and even today, the Bible says that they're worthy of death now. So you know they weren't worthy of death then. Here's the next one. Jehoshaphat. This is uh, 1 Kings 22. 1 Kings 22, 46. And the remnant of the Sodomites, which remained in the days of his father Asa, he took out of the land. That wasn't nice. How well would you do that? Because the Sodomites were wicked. And he knew that. And he, took, and he got rid of them. You don't see God judging him for it. That's one thing God ain't going to judge you for. You say up against a sodomite, God's not going to get mad at you and say, Bad, cruel Christian, that wasn't nice. Ain't nothing wrong with queers. They're just a bunch of cute little, they're just a bunch of cute little nice people that are born that way, and there's nothing wrong with them, and they just, to each his own. No, God says they're a bunch of perverts worthy of death. And God's going to put every one of them in like a fire if they don't repent. That's what the Bible says. That's not what I said. It's not what my preacher says. It's not what somebody else I heard say. It's what the Bible says. Here's the next, and the last one is Josiah, Second Kings 23, verse number seven, and he broke down the house of the Sodomites that were, were that were by the house of the Lord, where the women were wove hangings for the grove. That wasn't nice. He broke their houses down. He went over there and started tearing their houses up, and and said, "Get out of here, you bunch of perverts." That's not nice. Why would you do that? Because they're perverts. And it, and it was not looked at as something special. If you were queer, even 
30 or 40 years ago in this country, you were not applauding like you were some special hero. You would not have a gay bride parade in any town. If you, would, if you started one, you wouldn't have made it through the finishing point. You would not have made it to the end. Somebody would have stopped you. Probably with a probably with a gun. Well, that's just homophobia. No, <clears throat> it's because they know it's wicked. That's why. They know that it's a wicked. It's wicked and ungodly. That's why. That's why they. Uh, that's why somebody would stop it because back then people had some morals and they knew that even if they weren't saved, they knew it was something wrong with it. It's not because they didn't. It's not because they uh, are just a bunch of haters and because they just uh, need to get a life and because they're just homophobes and they're scared of queers. No, they see queers as perverts. Is what they really are. A bunch of sick perverts that just want to talk about love all the time. You know why? Because they don't want to talk about God's wrath. They want to talk about love, love, love. Jesus loves me, this I know, because the Bible tells me so. That's what they want to talk about. They don't want to talk about the judgment that's coming. They don't want to talk about the day, the day that God puts every one of them in hell. I mean, perverts. They just want to talk about. They just want to talk about Jesus loves me. This I know because the Bible tells me so, and all that kind of stuff. God's going to put you in hell. God's going to put every sinner in hell, and there's no saved satellite. So, if you're a satellite, you're going to hell. Plain and simple.